Peace and love, cats and kittens, ladies and germaphobes. This is Rev Pops in Detroit. Got a download after praising and worshiping the Lord this morning. Um, this is probably the most red hot, valuable personal growth message I've gotten yet in my life in 36 years of ministry. And it's it's going to be short and sweet. So write it down, pass it around, pay it forward. Basically, Jesus said you must be born again. Jesus said you must become like a child. What's he talking about? What he's talking about, you came from somewhere, you were born. What the heck? Where were you? Well, how, where did you come from? Pops knows, and I'm not going to speak in the second person. I know where I came from. I know where I am. And I know where I'm going. As you see behind me in my magnet, one of my two giant windows I installed. Uh, so I may see the skies of Detroit. I know where I'm at, Detroit. I know where I'm going. Germany, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Romania, Bulgaria, Black Sea, and then south to Sea of Galilee, and all points in between, like China, India, and Africa, Russia, and whatever else there is that I feel like. I feel like going to but I digress it. Okay. So you must be born again. That's talking about birth. You you must become like a child. That's talking about childhood. Who you are, 99% of who you are, was created in the first seven years. Here's what the Lord told me. You got to find the fire. You got to fuel it. And you got to fan it. In appropriate proportions of fueling and fanning. But you got to find the fire. All right. Look at your little boy. I'm talking to men right now. If you're a woman, just excavate it. I don't want to think too much. Excavate it out and say she, he, and or she and, and, and little girl and all that. All right. When I was a little boy, I had a fire. I had a fire in my heart. That fire was always changing colors, but it was a fire. It was a flame. And I tried to keep that thing burning bright. I used to sit there in church for and saying, I got a little gospel light, and I'm going to let it shine. So, you know, if somebody asked me what my religion was, what I thought about God, I'd say, well, God is Jesus father and jesus showed us how to be like god so it was very simplistic understanding but whether or not you're a christian whether or not you even believe in jesus sheep or goat baby you got a fire some point in time you were a little boy maybe it was playing cops and robbers maybe it was playing cowboys and indians maybe your fire is shooting indians i don't know go join the armed services if you're too old or out of shape or 4f or whatever you can't get an the armed services in America, get a passport, a visa, go down there to Mexico and find some little crazy army of wild Indians that wants to run around and shoot at each other and join blue team or a red team and shoot at them. I don't care. But the problem is, that's kind of stupid. That's a bad goal because divided, you know, dividing and killing is, not I don't think, a great dream. But, you know, whatever flips your switches. Just don't come around me because I'll kill you a lot quicker and you'll kill me. All right. So you got to find the fire, and that was a terrible example. Let's say when you were a little kid, you always just loved to uh, get dressed up and uh, design and make different outfits with different stuff lying around. Dress up in your mom's clothes. You just like dressing up, and, and you like want to be a clothes designer. Whatever, there's some fire, but what I'm saying is you must become the child. You must figure out where you are and where you came from. You got to be born again. You got to go all the way back there because what happened is some long, somewhere along the way you got sidetracked. You wanted to be a baseball player and play for the Detroit Tigers. That was one of my dreams when I was a little kid. But I got sidetracked. I didn't make the team in eighth grade. I got off the tangent. Now I'm 57. I think it's a little bit of a preposterous goal to want to play for the Tigers. But maybe I could be a, a a chaplain because I'm a minister now. I took a different path and ended up a minister. Maybe I could be a, a team chaplain if I really worked towards that goal and networked and schmoozed my uh, nose up the right butts. I'd get there eventually. Depends. But the thing is, is I would find my fire. The reason nobody, most people are not attaining to superstardom in their own minds, and that's all that really matters, is because they have not found the fire. You must be born again. You must become like a child. Who were you? Where the hell did you come from? And before you lost your way, oh sheepy deepy, what was your fire? What flipped your switches? Find it. 
fan it, and fuel it. Peace and love.